Hello, welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. Today I'm going to show you how to migrate a WordPress site onto AWS LightSail. The WordPress site that I'm going to be migrating today is one that I have hosted in GoDaddy at the moment. It's coming up for expiry and it's costing me a lot of money to keep it in GoDaddy. So I compare with AWS LightSail and LightSail is a lot cheaper. So I'm going to show you how to do it. For this tutorial, you do not need to have your WordPress site on GoDaddy. It could be anywhere as long as you do have access to that uh, admin panel of your WordPress site and also you need a AWS account so if you do not have an account check the link the description in this video and there's a link to another video to show you how to make one okay let's get started uh, as you can see I'm in my GoDaddy account and I have this site called houseofhappykarma.com this is what it looks like so it has its own domain and uh, it's essentially a website that I made a few years ago for my sister who has her own business and she's doing great she's a legend and the site has uh, quite a bit of functionality like videos how like um, menus have blogs have social media all these things and used to be back in the day that to migrate a WordPress site was a pain in the butt you have to do it through FTP the database have to be migrated separately uh, it was more complicated today I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do it so I'm gonna start by going to the admin panel for WP admin and this is what the admin panel is gonna look now I need to do a lot of updates please ignore all that stuff and you need a plugin I'm gonna be using a plugin called uh, all-in-one migration which I already have installed here but I'm gonna show you how to get it anyway so you will go to plugins add new and then in the search area type all in one WP that should be enough for it to find it and yeah sure enough it's the first one so when you do not have a plugin installed it's gonna the button is gonna be like this one install now so you install now you click on that once it's installed you need to activate so it changes to active uh, and activate sorry and then you click on that activate button and then it's gonna turn gray like this one right here and in the case of all-in-one WP migration it's gonna appear on the left side column so once it's installed you um, uh, you click on it the, the thing is that if your site is bigger than 40 megabytes I believe uh, you can use the free version of it no problems if it's bigger than that which in the case of this site is a lot bigger than that you might need to use a paid version of this plugin which I highly recommend because you, you pay once and you can use it to migrate as many WordPress sites as you want. So I thought it was really cool deal. So I actually went ahead and bought it, but I'm not being sponsored or anything. I'm just telling you like it is, it's the, the easiest way to migrate a WordPress site. So it's kind of worth it if this is what you do for a living. And if your site is small, as I said, it's probably no need, you don't need to pay anything at all. So we click on the, the extension and then what you need to do is to export your site. So I'm gonna export it. And as you can see, there's many ways in which you can export your site like the good old FTP version, you can send it directly to cloud providers, etc. But for today, I'm going to be use a file. And um, depending on the size of your website, it's going to take a while. Uh, I know for a fact that this site is 323 megabytes. I know that because before this video, I already exported it and I'm actually downloading it here. If you can see, it's a 218 megabytes. So it's, the download for some reason is very slow. Uh, so just bear with that. Um, but this is what you will have to do. Once it archives the website, you'll see a green button here that says download and you will click on that and your file start downloading. So while that's happening, I'm gonna go onto the light sale console. Uh, this is what it looks like. So I have three instances here and I was already started with House of Happy Karma, but I'm gonna make a new instance uh, so you can see exactly how the process goes. So create an instance select the location where you want your instance to be located so it's recommended that it's close to where your customers or your viewers are going to be so in this case of this website i'm going to leave it in the united states i'm going to put it in virginia which is like the main data center of uh, aws okay and i'm gonna scroll down select the platform i always use linux unix but you can use microsoft if you want uh wordpress site exactly this is what we need but you can see there's node.js there's joomla you can import from gitlab etc it's amazing and then in here you can see the cost so for a basic site it's going to cost you 3.5 dollars and the first month is free and uh, so it's about 40 dollars per year less than that because you have a first month free and as I say, in GoDaddy, it was costing me like $150, all included. So it's very 
different price wise so it's a no brainer there i'm going to call it <clears throat> house of happy karma uh, two because this is the second instance i'm doing just for this video and i'm gonna create an instance right so in virginia i have this site in ohio i had the original one i was working on before the video in tokyo i have a couple of my other sites and it says pending so you need to wait for the instance to be provisioned and configured and i'll be back when that's done all right so the instance now says running let's click on it and the first thing you need to do is connect through ssh sometimes if you open it right away it will tell you that you have to keep yeah it, it says i have to wait a minute or two so just in case you get this error just you just need to keep waiting so let's do that okay it's been a little bit so let's try again and sure enough we're in and the only thing we need from the terminal at this point is to add this command cat bitnami underscore application underscore password and uh, with this we get the password of the instance the wordpress um, application so i'm going to copy that and now we have this address here which is the address of the instance the public ip where your new wordpress site is going to be located so open a new tab go 54.89.165.83 all right and as you can see we have a basic wordpress site that is created by default and what we need to do next is to add slash wp dash admin and now it's confusing here because for a while i was trying to use bitnami as username but it's not it's user and the password is what we got from the ssh terminal a second ago so just copy that uh, paste that login and we're in we're in into our uh, background the back end of your wordpress site and now we, what we need to do now is to import that file that we were downloading from the original so to do that we're going to need the same plugin so i'm going to add new look for a new plugin wp no was all in one wp and this plugin actually comes installed by default but you need to update it and activate it so i'm going to update it and once it's updated go back to your plugin install plugins look for it uh okay all in one activate it and by activating it it's going to appear here on the sidebar great now um because i have the paid version uh, I'm going to show you what you would do in case you buy the paid version. You will have to add new and then upload the plugin. So when you buy the plugin, they give you a zip file. And that's how plugins are, you know, shared around. So you choose a file. I have it saved here. It's only one WP migrations.zip. Open. Install now. And with this, you're removing any restrictions about the size of the things that you can export. I don't know if there's any limit for import. I believe export is the only thing that you might need this plugin if your site is very big. Okay, install successfully activated. And I won't have any more restrictions anymore. So I'm going to go back to all in one WP migration and I'm going to import this time. Great. And I'm going to import from a file. So file and this is the file house of happy karma wordpress open and it's gonna start importing this time so i'm gonna cut here and i'll be back when it's done okay it takes a while to import and restore the site to the original shape and uh, the database so but that's all you need to do because now as you can see i have the original version in houseofhappykarma.com but also i have one in my server 5489165.83 which i'm gonna delete this just for illustration purposes uh and that's all that's all you need to do because as you can see all the functionality are still there the menus are still working uh, i can navigate around the page and nothing got messed up so as i say it's a very useful plugin and now i'm gonna be paying a lot less because i'm using light sale in aws and that's all you need to do and remember if you need to stop that website uh remember instances are only charged if they're running if you stop it if i click here and stop 
the, essentially the charge stops for for the time being so you can manage your instances if you don't need a site running all the time you can manage it from this console and that's all for today i hope this was helpful let me know if you have any questions in the comments below subscribe uh, for future videos follow me on my social media and i'll see you next week with another tutorial this is carlos for cloud and web developer have a good day